Next, let's also finish up our contact page. So let's go back to our page builder and then click here, go to pages. And then for the contact page, we don't need to create a new template because there's already one by default called contact. So let's click on this one. And as you can see here, there's already a contact form. So there's not too much we need to do here on the contact page, but I do wanna have the same banner type that we have on the other pages as well. And there's already an image banner right here. So let's click on it. And then I'm gonna first add my banner image by just dragging it into this first image box. Now this is way too big. So let's scroll down here and for banner height, let's choose small. And let's make it a bit darker as well by increasing the image overlay opacity to let's say 50%. And now I also wanna add the heading that says contact. So let's go back here. And then under image banner, let's click on add block and choose the heading. I'm gonna click on the heading block and then change the text to contact, make it large and also make it bold. And now I need to put it in the center here. So let's click on the image banner again, then scroll down and for desktop content position, let's choose middle center. And then for desktop content alignment, let's choose center. And now all I need to do is change the color here. So let's go to scheme one and choose scheme four. And let's save our changes. And now when we go back to our Shopify dashboard and go to pages, we can see that the contact page already exists by default. And when we click on it, it's already assigned to the contact page template that we have just customized.